are live. Look at there. And there is a glare from hell. That ain't it. Let's see. It's trying to... There's a bad glare and I can't figure out where it's coming from. It might be the same. I don't know. It might just be the computer. Could be your girl. I don't know. But welcome. Welcome. It is Monday, August 12th, 2019. And we are live. We are live tonight because I'm going... No, can't do that. I'm going to show y'all how I make my black salt. Um, I need it for spell work tonight. Excuse the lighting. I should have done this earlier today and didn't. So, and then I'm going to walk you through how I make my detox bath bombs. If you follow me on Facebook, you hear me talk about these all the time. I used one today. They are amazing. They make me feel very comfortable. And I feel like a whole world has been lifted off my shoulders when I use these. Okay, so <coughs> I've got a couple of things out. I've got my little cauldron. Inside my cauldron are pieces of sage. Um, also a white sage incense because I did not have enough sage to do what I needed to do. So I'm improvising. It will be as strong. But normally you would use just burnt sage remnants, okay? And also Palo Santa, Santa which is a wood which helps underlining spirits that are trying to hide. This is how I make mine. I want it to be as strong as possible because black salt is to ward off anything. I make this at least once every three months, and I put it at every entranceway in my house and under every window seal, and it's about that time. So I thought I would show you guys how to do it. So inside here, as you can see, the incense is still burning a little bit. Okay, and then... The little brown pieces are the Palo Santo. And all I did, you can get this. Okay, let's see. There we go. You can get it at any spiritual store or Five Below sells them. They have like seven or eight pieces in a pack. Some small like this, but I've been chipping away at this. I just took my knife I use in all my works and I shaved at it. Until I got the amount I was happy with. Well, close to. So, I put that in there. And get a little bit more, you guys. I need a little bit more. When I do this, I always have protection around me. I have um, a white candle inside of a Himalayan salt rock for protection and to clear the air. Good vibes. I have my obsidian crystal in the shape of an elephant for protection. And then, where did he go? I have an amethyst skull head. There he is. That I also keep around me. I have matches because I do not like using lighters for my witchy work. I feel that it is better and stronger to use match and more natural. I have my herb grinder, okay? I have pink Himalayan salt, which we will use. I have Himalayan white salt, and this is the chunky salt. I have uncrossing oil, which I need to get more of. And I have bay leaf. Okay, so we have... The um, Palo Santa in there, and you'll learn with me. I use my cauldron and my herb grinder for literally everything, just about. Um, we have the Palo Santa. We have the sage. We have the sage incense. The one thing I don't have pulled out, dragon's blood. Oh, here it is. I was looking for my crystal Himalayan salt earlier. Uh, the pink one, and I couldn't find it. It was over here. Not where it was supposed to be, but... Okay, so, Dragon's Blood is a protector. Protectant. And you want Dragon's Blood remnants in there. So, you can buy already made at your local spiritual store. Okay? 
Or you can do like I do because you can get dragon's blood at Walmart for 97 cents. Take a knife and just shave it until you get down to the stick part of the incense. You only need mm, probably about a quarter of it from the top. So you can still burn it. It's still good. Right? Reuse. That's what being an herbal witch is. is reusing stuff. And being better and comfortable within what you do. So, we have almost gotten all that off. And it takes no time to do this. I add this into all my spells, all my salts. Um, I even add it into my bath bomb stuff, which you'll see in a little bit. So, I don't know if you can tell or not, but where it's indented at is where I stopped. The incense stops down here. I still have two thirds of this I could burn or use for something else, and we will. So I've got all that inside of my cauldron, okay? We're going to take, where did I put them? We're going to take bay leaves. I... Would normally crumple them up, but I don't want to keep you guys here forever. I know everybody has a life, so um, I'm going to take three of them, put them down in the cauldron, put this back where it belongs. I'm going to use my match, and I'm going to light them on fire. I want them to burn. I want them to become ash. And sometimes it does not cooperate the way you want it to, and you have to keep fiddling with it. But it does help a lot. This promotes good luck, prosperity, multiple different things. If you would like to know what else it promotes, you can comment below, and I will respond in the comment section. Okay. So this is starting to burn. Um, it's almost done. Now I'm not putting the salt in right now because salt smothers fire. For those of you that don't know that, there believe it or not, there are a lot of people that do not know this. Um, it's burning. Fire fun. <laughs> okay, so I got one more that just is being reluctant and doesn't want to cooperate here. Now, understand with spell work, everybody does things different. There is really no right or wrong way. As long as you're comfortable with it, you're confident in it, and you're confident within yourself. Okay, so it's slowly burning, and it's almost where I need it to be. Not now, because I blew the flame out. I suck at doing this, y'all. I'm trying, though. All right. Now, you notice I left out the matches in there, the stick remnants. That is part of a tree. That is part of nature. That is something that will make it stronger, believe it or not. In my case, it always has. So, I leave it in there. Now, I have all this. It's burned, so I'm going to take my little herbal musher, the poor thing. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure all this stuff is mushed down in here. And then we'll add the salt and the banishing oil and mix it. And that will be it for the black salt. Because it literally turns black. Um, this is for my spell work for tonight that I had a customer pay for on Facebook. But I'll be making more tomorrow. But I have to get some more sage. And I forgot why I was out today. So, we're going to take, I have the turnstile pink Himalayan salt. 
I got this a big lot. You can also get this at Dollar Tree, Walmart, Food Lion. Walmart and Food Lion are a little bit more expensive, obviously. At Big Lots, this big container was $1.50. Dollar Tree, I think, stops like right here for a dollar. That's not bad. And it's the same kind of container. So I'm going to. I don't want to overpower it. So I only did five turns. Um, so that it does turn all of the salt black. And then you can get this one. I'm just going to take a palm size and put it in there as well. I think I'm going to do two small palm size. So like a quarter, um, a half a teaspoon. We'll do half a teaspoon. Um, these, I love these cork bottles. I reuse them a lot. This one was $3 at Big Lots. Um, they also have the pink and the black, but I go through that a lot because I also use the pink Himalayan salt for cooking. It's good for your digestive system. It helps with weight loss, and it just has better chemical balance to it than the um, regular iodized salt when cooking. So <clears throat> I got all the ingredients in here except for my, my banish or my uncrossing oil. This you can get at any spiritual store. Um, this small tube was $5. Only takes two or three drops. Mix it in. Mix all of it together and it's black. And I will put it in a jar and show you guys. And that is your black salt. And like I said, I needed to make this because I needed it for a spell tonight. So. Alright. I got that in there. You guys will find that I do a lot of my videos live right now because my channel does not yet have enough subscribers to go live from mobile. So I can't take you guys with me and stuff like that unless I have my laptop with me. But I'm trying. I'm trying, you guys. If you are not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate you joining the crazy life that is mine. And you will see a variety of different things here. Um, tarot readings, store hauls, spell work, DIY spell makings, and things like that. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm not... just in one spot. I, I've always been like that, though, for as long as I can remember, my brain jumps around. So, I got these little containers from Dollar General last spring when they went on clearance. They're originally a dollar, and they were on clearance for 90% off, and I got these for 10 cents. I think I got, like, 20 of them. So, I have a bunch of different things in these. Um, this is clothes that I crushed up. And just a bunch of different ones. So, our black salt is made. Okay. Let me. And you might be thinking, oh, well, you used a black cauldron. Duh. No. It's because of burning the bay leaf, the sage, the, San the palo santo, and <clears throat> mixing everything together. But did you get me a bolt? Never mind. I can use my thing. I already said that. Are you going crazy again? Can't go crazy if you already are. Okay, so I do use this for spell work. Um, I've used it multiple times. I think I've had it a week. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. They have one more at the local spiritual store. I would love to get it has a base and then triangle and it hangs you can use it outside I want that so bad one day one day so here's my black salt a little goes a long way 
You do not need a whole lot. It goes a long way. Any kind of salt goes a long way in magic works. Okay, so but here's my black salt. I will probably make more in a bigger jar. Um, I have some empty jars I need to fill. So we'll be getting to that eventually. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys how I make my DIY detox bath bombs. Okay, so when we want to detox our body, we want to detox our body because we're stressed out, we're overwhelmed, we can't pay attention, we have so much going on that we don't know which way to turn, right? So, we have, sorry, trying to get some stuff out of the way here. We have so much that, as humans in general, we take on a lot. And we're always aggravated and annoyed. So, I found baking soda holds oils very well. Okay. Oh, where's my moon water? Okay, those of you that do not know, moon water is water that you set out to be blessed or kissed by the full moon. You have one. Um, I made this on the black moon, so this is very strong. And you do not have to use a whole lot. Um... <clears throat> I also have witch hazel. I have two different baking sodas that I've had oil sitting in. This one is avocado oil. This you can make by taking the pit of an avocado, boil it, put it in a strainer, and rub it. And when you rub it and it peels, if you have a metal grainer, grater, it um, releases the oils. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is a hydrating one that I did. Um, it has argon oil, which was bottled. I don't know how to make that. But the avocado oil was made by hand. And this is half a cup of baking soda. It's mixed in there, and that's why it's clumpy. And then this one is almond oil, which you can make like almond peanut butter, except for you put it in a cheesecloth and wring it out. And then you can use the ground almonds as peanut butter and manuka honey which is a raw honey you can buy over the counter mix together warm the honey up so that it is smooth and you can mix it and put it in again another half cup of baking soda this is just regular epsom salt and the pink himalayan salt this is finely grated Okay, and dragon's blood. Now, I'm going to, and I have cucumber melon essential oil for the smell. So I'm going to go ahead and shave the dragon's blood. Again, I'm only going to use about a quarter of the incense. might be able to see it. All that red, that's the dragon's blood I just did. Okay, and I have a regular cereal spoon or teaspoon, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do a quarter of the Epsom salt. The Epsom salt relaxes your muscles and pulls out any toxins in your body, making you feel better. Now I'm going to do a teaspoon. Um, so I'm going to do a teaspoon of Epsom salt. This is going to help you, like I said, it's going to help you relax. It's going to help your muscles relax and not be so stiff. It's going to help your body pull any nasty thing out through your feet that are soaking in the bathtub. Again, baking soda does the same thing. The work between the Epsom salt and the baking soda um, makes your whole body very smooth. Okay, so this one is ooh, some hard pieces in there um this one was the almond oil honey 
So again, I'm going to do one heaping tablespoon or teaspoon, okay? And I did it heaping because I want it to be a little extra so that I can make it into like a ball. Um, and I would have done more, but I'm doing the other one as well. This one is to relax because the scent of it is like lavender. It calms you. It makes you relax. It helps you get peace of mind. This one is for hydrating your body. And this one was the argan oil and the avocado. So, again, with... A heaping teaspoon. Okay. And then my witch hazel. You can get witch hazel at Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General. This bottle here cost me a dollar. And it's lasted me several months. So I'm going to measure out one, two, Three teaspoons. And I'm going to stir. It's going to be tasty. Okay. Going to bed, boo boo. Yeah. Okay. I love you. I will see you in the morning. Oh, you need to let me put those eye drops in your eyes. So wait until I'm done, please. I know you're tired. All right, so this one I didn't measure correctly, and it's a little watery. So I'm going to take another teaspoon, heaping, so probably two, right? And I'm going to put it in there. Shit, I missed. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to mix them. Now, the moon water is for strength, prosperity. Aha. Health, wellness, because these were the things that I manifested for when I um, made it. Can you put this up there? So I'm literally just going to take and cover the bottom of this top. And this jar was actually... Um, A syrup bottle. One second, sorry. Hi. Okay, hey, baby girl. I have Hi. a question, y'all. Y'all know Raven. Y'all guys, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. I just woke up on this instrument. Raven, you guys know Raven, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey, hi, Dora. Raven. Oh. Is asking to please come in here. Oh my god, I got Kayla in here. Okay. Raven wants to come in our chat. She says, Can I please come? Please, can I please come in the chat with the rest of their family? Raven. I don't know, Colin. Okay. Oh, she, okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I have a raven, but it's a guy. No, it's a girl. The girl raven. I, I don't know. I can't talk now. Did you do that? Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 oh my god, I can't believe that's why I keep going here. Okay. So. Anyways, she's one of the family members. And she yeah. has a lot of, um, she's like, I gotta get in here with you guys. I want to come home. And she says, I want to get in here where we can be us. And there's things that it's just when you guys are having fun and you're stressing and everything else. Okay. Uh, sorry. I will call them back. That is a group I work with on Facebook. And we have some people that want to be in the group with us, but they are users and manipulators. So we don't allow it. Um, I'll go back in in a minute. Um, I got sidetracked and I messed up. I added too much moon water. So what I'll do is add another. Let's do a different one. 
They're probably mad at me now, but they'll be okay. I was a little busy. Um, so this one is a different kind. I make a bunch of these at a time. My kids love bath bombs, and that's why I make them the way I do. <laughs> With them being in high school and middle school, they stress a lot and stuff like that. So um, this was uh, chamomile and baking powder. And it's now in that powdery form where I can manipulate it with my hands if I chose to, but I don't want to be sticky. So that's what it looks like. It looks like paste. I'm going to take cucumber melon and put three, four, five, six, seven, because our bathtub is big, so I normally make these a lot bigger. Seven drops of cucumber melon. Stir, stir, stir. Where's that thingy? Or is your stuff still in there? Okay. Um, I lost my little gumball thing. <laughs> I put them in gumballs. Are you going to let me use it? Okay. Well, put your stuff in a um, Ziploc bag, your putty. Thank you, baby. Okay. This is her way of saying that's my bath bomb. <laughs> um, so I'll put it in here. It'll take about 48 hours for this to dry because I do cap it. And then come Thursday, we have a detox bath bomb. I normally make about 20 of these at a time. But I didn't want to. I just wanted to jump on and show you all. So I hope you find this useful. If you want the recipes or a list of ingredients, feel free to ask me. Again, if you aren't subscribed, please hit that bell and the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a video. Also, make sure to comment your opinions and thoughts down below. I love you guys. Thank you. Stay blessed.